What's up, everybody? This is Jack from Crypto 49er, bringing you my knowledge in cryptocurrency. So today I want to talk about installing the Gecko Trading Bot onto Google Cloud with Docker. So yesterday I covered just setting up Docker on your local PC and creating a Docker image of the Gecko Trading Bot and running it inside Docker container. So today we're going to build that same Docker container into the Google Cloud and then run it on Google Cloud. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing is just follow the quick start guide for Docker. I assume that you already finished step one, two, and three in terms of setting up your Google Compute uh, console and enabling billing and enabling the builder API. So I imagine you have all that done already. So we're on the step four right now, install and initialize the Google the Cloud SDK. So that, that's what we're going to start with. And the instructions I would and the instructions I'll link to in the description down below. So you can open up terminal and all you have to do is just open up the folder where you downloaded Google Cloud SDK into and just type in dot slash install dot sh if you're on the Mac. If you're on Windows I'm sure it's just you know opening up the zip file and just installing it. Alright so once you click on once you uh, run the installation process so actually do you, do you want to let them collect anonymized data? It's up to you yes or no. After you install it type in G Cloud projects list and that will list all the projects that you have so for this particular case here I only care about this project that I set up previously gecko test 204 blah 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 so that was a project ID that they added actually my name of the project is gecko test as you see here this project you have created previously on the GCP console on uh, on the web page so you basically do the same process as we did in yesterday's video locally for Docker, but this time this is going to be done on the Google Cloud. It's going to package everything into an image file and upload it into Google Cloud. All you have to do is run that process again. It's gcloud container build submit dash dash tag and you just have to choose your project ID here. So you say gcr.io and then you just put your project ID. You just want to name the image that you're building together. So I just call it gecko image. So once I did that, it'll tell you that it's done. It'll show you the ID, the creation time, the duration, how long it took, only took less than three minutes and the location of the, the cloud build. So when that's done, you should see it on your Google Cloud Platform build history as well. So if you go to build history, it's right over here, you click on this section here, you get the build history, and you can see that um, the build is done and it's, everything's successfully built out properly, so you're good to go. So now the next thing you have to do is, now that you have Gecko in the container image on Google Cloud, you'll need to create and start a VM instance. And here they tell you to use the gcloud command line and that's why I did at first too. So I followed the instructions, went through the process, found an image, and just created the instance following the command line process. The problem with this though is once you create the virtual machine instance, it doesn't actually deploy the container. So that became a bit of an issue because when you click on here, the virtual machine instance, I had created a Debian 9 virtual machine instance, but this doesn't have my Gecko Docker container in here. So what that means is I can't run Gecko with this image. So what I end up having to do is actually create an instance here. This is the correct way to do it, is to go into the Google Cloud Platform VM instances, click on create instances, and then in here, look at the container section. Make sure you check off in this box, deploy a container image to this VM instance. Otherwise, you wouldn't have your container, your Gecko container image, and you can't use Gecko. That's why I did here. I checked it off, and then the Gecko container image, I just put in my Gecko image right here. And once I did that, I saved it, enabled it, then I was able to have this Gecko image and be able to, from this heap, from this point here, connect to it via SSH. So I just select the option connect via SSH, and it'll actually open a window in the browser for you to connect to it via SSH. And then from here, all I have to do is just run exactly what I did yesterday, docker exec gecko-01. This is the name of my gecko image. And then just run node gecko-config, and it'll just and then uh, call the config file. As you can see here, it didn't have the config file. If you go all the way back to earlier steps, you'll see that it says right here when I was building the image, it says that some files were not included in the source upload. So that's the difference here where with the local Docker build, it was including all the images, all, all the files that I had in there. 
Whereas this one, when I was building it out, it didn't include some of the other files I created. So this, in this process, I probably have to end up sending some of these files over into this gecko on Google Cloud. So it was a little trickier this way, but it'll still work. At least I have SSH access to this gecko right here. So if I need to, I can actually just say cp config file and make a copy of the sample config file and reconfigure everything from here. If I want to, I'll be good to go. So that's basically it in terms of how to set up Gecko on Google Cloud via Docker. So there's a couple of things you guys should be aware of. Again, the pricing, it's a little steep because I'm not sure if I show you, I'm not sure if I have a picture of the pricing here. Oh, well, right here it is. So this is $24.67 per month for this instance. I think it's quite expensive for one virtual CPU core at 3.75 gigs of memory. I'm not sure if that if that's what they would charge me every month, but they say that that's the estimated cost. So that seems kind of expensive. I mean, compared to the other VPSs that you could get from other locations, they're much cheaper. This is something that definitely have to do your own research or maybe contact Google to find out if this is the right option for you. The other thing is you can also use the Google Kubernetes engine. So this is another way to deploy Docker images without actually having the whole entire virtual machine created like I just showed you in here where you actually create a Linux machine in this case. So you don't have to do that. You could just Kubernetes engine. Pricing wise, I'm not sure. Again, I'm not too familiar with which one is cheaper at this point. I would guess Kubernetes is cheaper, but then again, I'm not familiar with it. But definitely you can if you want to deploy that Docker image into Kubernetes. That's definitely an option as well. I'm not going to cover it in this video. Definitely look into yourself if you're interested. But that's my video for today, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining, it isn't worth speculating. Peace out.